right, part two of our reloading bench project. Just a quick update on the drill press. I've lost the chuck that went in here and it's a very particular one, about a universal one. Now I can operate the drill press again. So I finished what I was talking about last time. I actually swapped out that uh, wood screw that I put in here for a different type of wood screw that has more of a lip so that it catches us better. That literally was just a hole in this plate and that plate. So I thought, why not just mount it to the wood? These two spots here actually went into this side board. So I couldn't put a, a washer and a lock washer and a nut like I did on these. So I just had to get some tapping lag bolts, which I did today. Actually went up to 3 8 inch because I had drilled the hole for 5 16. So those tightened up pretty good. And then I had the issue with this spot here that I talked about last time. Ended up just drilling all the way through it, this long bit. And that's fine because I'm not gonna be moving this. I'm not gonna, I have no other lead presses that I need to use. So I went ahead and drilled the hole all the way through. Got a quarter inch bolt with a washer locking washer and a locking nut. Got that installed. So this is extremely stout. And the fact I'm using it just as a decapping station, it's probably way overboard, but hey, it's working. All right, got some 65284 brass, needs decapped. Sticking in our number three shell holder. And pops it right out. Guess I gotta figure out a way to capture these, but for now, I'm just gonna pop them out. I can sweep up later, so that is good. All right, so feel great about this install here. Solid as a rock. Awesome decapping station there. Also feel good that I have this thing mounted last time and the drill mounted. I have a cool idea with this. I'm not gonna share it. I'll just put it in the next video when I get the stuff, but I have a cool idea about not just using it as a vise, but having a kind of a permanent addition to my reloading and I will show you that. And then of course, this is just a drill press and a vise. They're not real equipment, but I showed on a little short where you can use this to, you know, cut brass down to size. However, the only issue is you, you put that one piece in here. Well, let me just show you. This little piece here doesn't have much there to bite. So you technically can get it in here. It's not biting on much, but you, it, it can work. But then you have to get the little shell holder that goes with your cartridge here. And every time you have to basically unscrew that and get it in there and it does, it's not really super fast, but I've ordered a Lee three jaw chuck that will go in here, I think will be much better. It's got a lot longer stem, so it will should go in here and be able to chuck down real tight. And then you just grab it and turn it and loosen it, and it's like universal. You stick the shell in there, tighten it, and you're good to go. So this could become a pretty cool setup for all my case length sizing. Not sure if it'll work 100%. It might be too wobbly. It might not give, give me the correct cutting length, but I will see. But anyway, looking forward to that. So I got some stuff coming in. I thought it was gonna be here today. It didn't show up though. So probably tomorrow that'll come in, but I'll get that at three. It's a Lee three jaw chuck installed into this. And then I've got, I have a good idea for this. I've got my decapping station. And then the next step after that will be sand this whole top down. Get some different grit sandpaper, get it sanded down. But I'm looking forward to it. And until next time, take care.